Hi everyone, I am Achal. Thanks for watching out this video today. In this video tutorial, we will be having a discussion regarding the default functionality of Magento 2. Here, we will going to learn how to import advanced pricing using CSV in Magento 2. The advanced pricing is basically used to provide discount on the bulk purchasing of the products, either it is based on the customer groups or it is based on the quantity they purchase. So let's have a brief discussion in the further slides of this video and before proceeding ahead I would request you to please do subscribe our channel and press the bell icon button to get more updates. So let me take you to the backend configuration of the Magento 2. As you can see here I have successfully logged into the backend of Magento 2 there. Now here I will going to show you how you can import the advanced pricing using CSV in Magento 2. Now for the import functionality, you just need to navigate into the left navigation as you can see here over the screen and here you can able to see the option of systems. You just need to tap over this that system option and here a new window will comes up here you will get an option of import functionality. You just need to tap over there. Once you tap over the import functionality then a new window will comes up as you can see here over the screen and here you will get an option of import settings and along with that we do also have an option of entity type. From here you need to select that particular uh, advanced pricing or products which you want to import. As here in this video we are having a discussion regarding the import of advanced pricing so I am selecting here the advanced pricing option and from here you can also download the sample file as well. Next if you are scrolling a little down then you will get an option of import behavior. From here you just need to fill out the required details. First you can see over the screen we do have an option of import behavior and here from, uh, from here you can able to select the uh, different options like uh, what actions you want to perform inside that particular CSV like if you want to add or update something then you can choose the first one and if you want to replace or delete any of the data then you can select the below two of the options as you can see here over the screen. So here I am selecting add and update. Next we do have an option of validation strategy. It is something like what action you want to perform like if an error occurs then you want to stop at that condition or you want to skip error entries at that time. So I am selecting here stop on error and next we do have an option of allowed error count. From here you can select the error counts on the basis of digits. Next we do have an option of field separator and multiple value separator. If you are using any other file format then you have to select these uh, file uh, field separator and multiple value separator. Next we do also have an option of empty attribute value constant. You can able to do the same from here inside the CSV of the data. And field enclosure is something like if you want to enclose any of the particle spe special character inside the uh, data then you can choose that this field enclosure option. Next coming little down you will get an option of file to import. From here you just need to select the file which you want to import. You just need to tap over that particular chosen file and from here you can select uh, the particular file which you want to import as I am choosing here a file which I which I want to import inside uh, that particular product. After choosing that particular file you just need to tap over the check data option as you can see here in the right corner. After tapping over there you will get a message like validation result you can see like file is valid to start import process you just need to tap over the import button. From here you just need to tap over import option. After tapping over there you will get another success message as you can see here uh, over the screen the status is import successfully done. Likewise you can able to import 
the complete advanced pricing csv as i have shown you in this uh, video now i will going to show you how these import uh, advanced pricing will be appear over that particular product also i will going to show you file which i have uh, chosen there uh, like you can see here i have uh, a SQ, sqa of the product that is yoga med and next we do have an option of tire pricing website uh, on which particular website our product is available next we do also have an option of tier price customer group and quantity and also we do have an option of tier price and uh, tier price value type as well so i have chosen this file at the time of import functionality now i will going to show you how this import advanced pricing will be appear on that particular product so uh, for checking out that particular uh, advanced pricing you just need to uh, navigate into the left navigation again and here you just need to tap over that catalog option and after tapping over there a new window will comes up here you will get two options product and category you just need to tap over the product option after tapping over the product option you will get a complete list of the products as i have chosen that particular yoga mat product so i am going to show you the pricing over that particular product as you can see here this is our product and here in the advanced pricing you can see the import advanced pricing will appear like you can see here over the screen so this way you can import the advanced pricing using csv in magento 2 there so this is all about the import functionality of advanced pricing in magento 2 likewise you can also able to do the same if still you are having any kind of concern or queries you can reach us at support@webcool.com or you can also raise a ticket from webcool.uvdesk.com i hope you liked our video if so then please give us a big thumbs up thanks for watching out this video today have a great day ahead